Hi folks, welcome back to Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Here we are at what feels like the tail end of the class trial in the case of the murder of who killed Sakura. <laughs> That's a weird phrasing that I just said. I got halfway through that sentence and was like, the case of the murder of who killed, killed Sakura. Sakura. <laughs> That's not quite right. But anyway, um, we have but been- But it is technically right. It's technically accurate. Um, yeah. So uh, we have been trying to uncover what led to Sakura's death, and we've had a series of people who thought they killed her, in fact. Uh, Yasuhiro thought that he had been the one to murder Sakura because he hit her on the head with a bottle. Yep. And then Toko thought that she was the one that killed Sakura because she hit her on the head with a bottle. Yep. And um, after a series of events... Aoi stepped forward to reveal that she, in fact, was the killer. Except, no! The evidence seems to contradict <laughs> that. Um, and meanwhile, Byakuya had an existential crisis where he realized that everything he knows about the world and himself is maybe incorrect. And, and now he has asked us to explain exactly what our theory is about what led to Sakura's death. Yes. All right. Let's continue. Before we get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. Oh, Okay. One more thing before we get there. One more there. fact. Let's we go. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, 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 we get, we've got yellow powder, which is a poison on Takra's foot. So that'll probably be it. It was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. What do you think, Makoto? The one who got the poison from the chem lab and brought it into the rec room. It had to have been... Sakura! Yep. Yeah. I got it! I think it was Sakura herself. Yep. Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? What, what are you talking about? There's no way! On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab, right to the section full of poisons. You're lying! Stop lying! Why? Why would you lie like that? Whoa, Hina. No, it's not a lie. Sakura definitely went to Section C. Kyoko already showed me the evidence I need. Now I just have now I have to hit Hina with it. I have to make her accept it. Is this gonna be, it's a gonna be another one? Oh, fuck. Another one? Fuck me. The third. Uh, Is this I, gonna be the third? I the hate the. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I'm so sorry. Man. These are my least favorite. Okay, That's valid. They Liar. contribute nothing. <laughs> what are you saying? Wrong. You're wrong. I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! Uh, <laughs> You're a liar! You're out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. There okay, you there go. we go. Wrong. Oh, shit. You're wrong. Okay. There you go. Alright, so here we go. I hate you! Here we go. Here we go. Keep going, keep going. Are you firing? You're I, a liar. I thought I was. Oh, there we go. What are you saying? Ah! There wrong. it goes. Okay. You're wrong! I'm telling you, I okay, did it! Okay, tempo down. Stop okay. talking! There it goes. You're a liar. Wrong. No, You're wrong. Punish. Okay. Okay. And now the final the shoes, strike. probably. Yellow any powder. Kind of proof Sakura took the poison? It's this one. This oh, I didn't have to pick it. You just already knew. Oh, sure. All right. Okay. That's nice. That's fine. All right. I did but better yes. on that one. Yeah, you did. Yeah. That was Thank great. Thank you. Did you know that Sakura's foot had a certain yellow powder stuck to it? Yep. It did? It did. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. That powder was yellow, wasn't it? So the powder we found on Sakura. What else could it be but the powder from the chem lab? Wait, wait, wait. So what was that powder doing on Ogre's foot? And it was only on her instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. Mm -hmm. So the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, but Sakura. Uh. And when Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing. Mm -hmm. Which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. Right, and she only got a little bit of it on her mm -hmm. foot. Yep. But the powder still got scattered around. And some of it must have wound up on her instep. Is there any problem with my thinking? But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? The only explanation is that she was looking for poison. After all, that's all that section contained. 
No! It was me! I... The poison! Oh, Hina. Because... Because... Because I killed her! No. You didn't kill her. The one that killed Sakura. The connection between Sakura and the poison. The unsolved mystery of the locked room. There's only one way to explain it. Yep. You killed Sakura. Here's my answer. Yeah. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. I was I was right. about to say, you called it minute one. I immediately you got it called right it because away. I know my girl. Yeah, you read the situation like my, a book. I know my girl. Yeah. And that's what she would have done. Mm -hmm. That's what she would have done. And it makes it so sad. I don't know how Hina plays into this because she did something well, what still. What does Hina get out of making them vote wrong? Right. Uh, I mean, I guess everybody dies. Is that like she's just trying to sink the whole ship? And get everybody killed. Oh, because she hates because she's so mad at all of them, and she hates all of them. Oh, yikers! Okay, now here's the next question, though. The black into a soccer herself, who is already dead. What do we do from here? Like, even we'll Monokuma even had kind of suggested that when he's like, like, time to find out who the culprit is, or yeah, like, so, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Now, does Hina not realize? I, she has to, I mean, the way she's acting right now, I guess we'll see what what happens, but it seems like she's acting surprised. Or maybe she just is withholding information. What? Um, and this is throwing Yakia <laughs> through a fucking loop. Like, he's already. Yeah. <laughs> His foundations have shaken. Yes. The killer was Sakura? Wait, so you're saying it was suicide? Mm-hmm. I don't believe it. I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly! I can't believe it either. Or rather, I don't want to believe it. But when you really think about it, everything matches up. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself in a room, and she drank it. Mm-hmm. After she had been bonked on the head with the bottles twice. After she tried to meet up with everyone. Yeah. To, and like, it didn't work to out, say, so. like, that she was probably gonna do this. Yeah. <sighs> also, she could end her own life. And that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. Because, of course. Monokoma forced her into the locked room. Yaku cared that Sakura wanted to create the locked room. I guess it's that one. <laughs> yeah. I got it! The locked room mystery was created by Sakura. I'm sure she locked herself in so nobody could stop her from doing what she did. But then there was nobody there to stop her, ultimately. But, I mean, it, it, yeah. She sat there, drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. Well, also, if it hadn't gone as, as like, weird as it had, the locked room should have been evidence that nobody else tampered. I think, I think it, it yeah. She was probably trying to make the case, like, make it, nice make it not clear. be a case. Yeah, just be yeah. like, hey, don't fuck up in the class trial. There's nothing to, to mess up. It's right. a locked room. I'm the only one that could have done this. Please don't overthink this. I know. What I'm thinking now is that maybe Hina was the one who figured it out right away and was like, Sakura killed herself and I need to find a way. That means nobody's going to get convicted. And be, like, so she probably went in and, and fucked with it to try and, like you said, make it so that she can take everyone else down for voting the wrong person, the black end. I don't know. Maybe, I, I yeah. I'm I mean, ultimately, it depends what... on on whether whether or not how we figured it out, and that, yeah. that's the one outstanding piece of information. And the yeah, empty we bottle can of that poison rolled mm -hmm. around the locked room until we came and opened it. At that point, someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room, and that was you, wasn't it, Hina? You did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? Right when then. we found her yep. body, you stayed right there near the door. Because you already knew Sakura was dead. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything. And Kyoko was busy checking the body. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were. Mm. 
I... I have to go get them. Yeah, she was weird from the start. Yeah. I have to go get the others. Instead of running to yeah. Sakura, she ran the other yeah, way. Yeah, she ran out. Yeah, because yeah, she... I can't yeah. remember if I commented on that or not, that she didn't seem to be reacting as powerfully as... I guess she... I would expect her to, yeah. Or shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. Yeah. You said you were going to go get everyone else. Oh, and that's when she did the swap. But your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the containers, wasn't it? Once you were at the chem lab, you headed straight to the section where the protein powder was kept. There, you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of poison you'd grabbed from the rec room. When you left the lab, all you had was the empty protein can. Thinking about it like that, the footprints make perfect sense. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because I was wondering that too. Like, how would you switch them? But if one of them was one already of them empty, would already yeah. empty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you were done, you gathered everyone together, and once you were back in the rec room. Oh okay, and that's fine. Yeah, I got everyone. <sighs> oh girl. Oh, so she's dead, huh? Sakura's been killed? I see. While everyone else was focused on Sakura, you quietly placed the can on the okay, ground. So that's when she did it. Honestly, I should have noticed. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. Mm -hmm. The Hina I know never would have left her side in a situation like that. So... Sakura committed suicide. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. As long as you could disguise the truth, you didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence, and yet... So you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? No! No! No, 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 no! I killed her! I did it! That's enough, Hina. It's over. It's not! Nothing's over! It is! Hmm. Actually, no. You're right. We have to end this properly. With a comic book. With a comic book. <laughs> a closing argument. Okay. Okay. So here, Sakura places the notes inviting everybody to we come. We need to find the one with Byakuya. Yeah, there it this is. One. Okay. There and we go. There it goes there. I love how this art style depicts these characters, yeah. by the way. But um, anyway, okay. Okay, so, so Kyoko goes and hides in the that's locker. That's Toko. Sorry. Yes. Toko goes and hides in the locker. Um, probably, probably this one, oh, this middle one? one, this one. Yeah, because it's like locker. Yeah, because that's... That's, maybe the second one is leave. Oh, I don't know. They're really, yeah, they're tricky. Um, she's sweating in that second one, and she's sweating in all the ones around her. So maybe, so maybe the sweating one. That's when she go goes and hides in it. Yeah, let's go ahead yeah. and put that there, and we'll we'll okay. figure it out. Sakura, okay, gives a piece of candy. Because she's the sweetest heart in the she's whole wide world. She's so nice. Um, He's like, what? And freaks out, grabs the bottle. Um, uh, it might be this one. No, it was the chess piece. Oh, no, it's yeah. the chess piece one. Yeah. So this is the one where he smacks her over the head. Kind of knocks her I mean, her they're out. both chess pieces. I don't know why I said the chess piece. You know what I meant, though. Yeah, it's, no, it's I the know. Night. The night. Yeah. Um, and then Bloody that's, message. He's like, oh, Toko did it. Because... Uh, He's just <laughs> Look a, how scampery he looks. He's just that. a big dumb dummy. Okay, and then this okay, is this the is one. Okay, this is leaving locker. Leaving. Or maybe, or maybe it's the sweating one. Oh, sorry, my alarm's going off. Maybe it's the other one though. Let's try. She's sweating in both of them. I don't know which which is which. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's see. She put the thing away. Oh, she put upside down. It's over here. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, puts the thing upside down. Um, okay, Sakura she's gets alive. She's, she's alive. She passes she out. She passes out. And it's she Genocider. Switches. And for Smash, it's the queen. The queen now. Ching. Okay. All right. She got knocked out again. And, and Sakura's like, God. Clean it up. Damn it. Sakura's like, fucking... Okay. Um, what the hell is this? 
Mm-hmm. Is this her, that's like, her running? Cleaning? Yeah, that's her running away. Okay. She cleaned up the stuff and she scampered. Okay. Um, she so. takes the bottle of, of poison, poison out of her bag. Or oh, wait, which? Oh, no, it's, it's not that one. Uh, yeah, it's this. Yeah, you're right. Um, that's how do I swap if I could that do this? Way. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, because she's got her bloody yep. hands. Which is she weird, because we didn't see her hands. Yeah, they shouldn't be bloody, because that was a whole plot point. Yeah. But the artist took some artistic license. Yeah, because she Yeah, it's, it's literally any... a whole plot point that, <laughs> that she doesn't have blood on yeah, her hands. Yeah, that, that's the artist fucking up there. Um, um, I mean, maybe... No. No, she shouldn't... No. And she shouldn't have all this blood on her head, either. Oh, wait. Had... Wait a sec. Actually, that might be... Yeah? Never mind. They have a gray hand there, and usually the culprit is depicted with gray, but obviously she's not in the rest of the right. comic, so oh, never mind. It's fine. True. We can keep going. Okay. I think this might be for Hina, whenever Hina grabs it. Yeah. Because, look, here's the gray. Yep. Oh, you're Hina. right. It is for Hina. Yeah. Because Hina is weirdly the a not the culprit. She's the, she's the problem maker. Yeah. So I'm going to put that there. And then... And then this she comes in, grabs the... Kevin. Yeah, but that's her actual hand color. Yo, it's inconsistent. Artist. Artists. <laughs> yeah, I look, I have some some mild constructive criticism. We have we have thoughts on visual language that we feel is important yep. whenever you create you things goofed like this. Three times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. I'm coming the, back here because I have a feeling that this one is gonna have to swap. Yeah, um, I do too. Yeah. Actually I might want to swap them. Let's now. just go ahead and swap them now. Um and I I don't know how. I guess I go over here. I'm gonna grab this. Yeah. <laughs> There's gotta be a better way to I do this, could, but this works. Yeah. Also, I could be wrong, but I just. They are both equally likely. Yeah. Let's start with that. Um, I think it's like this because this is establishing the locker. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Here's okay. exactly what happened. I hope so. Okay, Byaka gets his letter. This case began when Sakura asked a number of people to meet her in the rec room. Mm -hmm. Specifically, <laughs> those people were Hiro, Toko, and Byakuya. Uh -huh. But one of them headed out a bit earlier than the others. Toko. Correct. She got there one step ahead of everyone else and looked around for a good hiding spot. All right. There we Excellent. go. I'm glad I did the swap. And she found it. She crawled into the locker to get out of sight. And then Sakura comes in. Then, from inside the locker, she saw Sakura enter the room. Okay. Next to arrive was Hero. Hero's huge hair. <laughs> oh. When he got there, God. he mistakenly thought Sakura was going to try to kill him. So he panicked. Cool. Without I mean, it thinking, sucks. he grabbed but a we got it right. Monokuma yeah. Monokuma bottle and attacked Sakura with it. Thinking he'd killed her, he hastily began covering up his crime. Oh my god. Sort of. He took a magazine from yeah. the table and forged a dying message from Sakura. To that end, he wrote down a name. Good thing nobody ever Toko. thinks to fingerprint. By writing True. her name, he <laughs> yeah. was hoping to pin the murder on her. I also can't, like, test blood or anything. Either. She could probably uh, do a, a do decent fingerprint, fingerprint yeah. analysis with some ink and some but tape. But of course, True. Toko had witnessed the whole thing. These are also so children, as soon though. as the coast was clear... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> compelling point. <laughs> Alright, she comes out. She jumped out of the locker and hid the magazine on the shelf with all the others. Yep. But in her dun, dun. rush, she made one little mistake. She put the magazine back upside down. Soon after, she watched as Sakura slowly opened her eyes. She also saw the blood dripping off Sakura's head and fainted. So at some point, Sakura should have, like, cleaned her wound or something and, like, got washed off the blood off her yeah. hands or something. Or they just should have rendered it differently. Yeah. Well, we know this caused her personality to switch back over to Genocide Jack. Sorry, it's it's there. I'm trying to figure out where the inconsistency is because the thing is, I think more accurately, I think there's two mistakes in two different drawings. One is the bloody hand because obviously it's a whole plot point that she mm -hmm. didn't have blood on her hands. The second is I think in the 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 death 
image where she's sitting in the chair and smiling and it's all sepia toned. Yeah. She should have had blood coming down her face because in every other depiction, she has blood coming down over her face. That's true. Um, and they messed up on that art, maybe. Yeah, but they, I think they wanted to make it look more peaceful yeah. and stoic and they didn't want it to be ghastly with pink blood everywhere. On her head. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I see what they were going for yeah. with it. I mean, it's yeah. also possible she wiped it off, but it seems more likely, especially considering that not only here, but also mm -hmm. in the actual case, yeah. it showed the, yeah, the blood that's on true. her face. Yep. Yeah. And the, the Monokuma file does call out that she has, she has two head wounds. Yeah, she's bleeding from two head wounds. And, so. But then th they also say that she showed that she was vom vom yeah. like, vomited blood as well. So um, When she woke yeah. back up, her second personality also saw the blood-soaked Sakura, and she freaked out. Bonked her again. And just Jeez. like Hiro, she grabbed another Monokuma bottle and attacked her. This explains why there were two wounds on Sakura's head. Assuming Sakura really was dead this time, she set about disposing of the evidence. Children. Also, you're a professional killer. You should know that the one little bonk on the head isn't going to kill her. Genocide Jack. <laughs> you make a valid point. Like, she's I the ultimate like she serial killer. I feel like she usually, like, plans out her kills. Yeah. And in this case, she did it and was like, oh, no. She panicked. She's like, oh, I guess that means I killed her, huh? Great. Fuck. <laughs> she gathered up the broken Monokuma bottle shards and the queen chess piece. Dumped them. And that explains how Sakura was attacked twice with the same type of weapon. But even after those two blows, she was still alive. So then, what was Sakura's actual cause of death? If they had just not shown her touching her head like that, I would have been more fine with it too yeah yeah sorry i, I should it stop i mean maybe she cleans her hands herself off herself got from the chem lab. yeah i don't know she turned the rec room into a true locked room scenario and then drank the deadly mixture sakura. and there she took her final breath later on the rest of us discovered that her body was in there. We had to smash the door's window to get inside. But someone already knew what had happened. Knew that she had committed suicide. Okay, so Nagy's conclusion is that, that, she, that she knew even before we got into the room. Someone quietly mm -hmm. snatched the bottle of poison from off the ground. Which makes me think that maybe Sakura told her she was going to do it. Yeah. And while nobody was looking, replaced it with an empty protein can. Toko's brains in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Wiggling up in the air. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry. This is not a time for humor, but it's in okay. my defense, the artist gave it to me. <laughs> True. <laughs> they did all this specifically to place all the suspicion on themselves in an attempt to guide the trial to a false conclusion. And the one who went to all that effort... Dramatic. Very dramatic. It's you, Hina. We did it! We completed the case! That's the full truth Yay! Of the case. It's terrible. <laughs> And really sad. It's really, it's really, it's just really sad. Really, really sad. Yeah. <sighs> Sakura took her own life, and you claim to be the killer to hide that fact. Isn't that right? That's what happened. <sighs> but Makoto, how did you, how did you manage to, how were you able to uncover the truth? That even I couldn't discern. Because we make friends! Because of the power of friendship! Because we actually fucking made friends with Sakura and we knew who she was! We hung out with her! Yeah! Huh? Oh, well, I mean... You still haven't realized? Thank you, Kyoko. We don't all act according to calculations and cost-benefit diagrams. That's what makes us so complicated. <laughs> That's what you don't understand. And that's why you couldn't solve this case. 
<laughs> See? Didn't I tell you? When you dismiss other people's feelings, it'll always come back to bite you in the end. There it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, what do we do? That is a great question. A, A, B, S, C, U. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> well, we came through at the end and we got an A at You the know end. what? I'll take it. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. I'll take 92 that. 92 points. Hell yeah. Or medals. 1,142 points. points. Okay, okay. I think we can all agree you made your point. Did you guys forget already? You still haven't voted yet! Oh yeah, that's right. You seriously forgot? <laughs> I mean, <sighs> it's a weird I can case. feel my energy draining out of me. Yeah, what do you do with this, Monokuma? Well, whatever. You don't really have a choice anyway. You just gotta do it. Maybe you don't want to, but please grab your lover and cast your vote! So, who will be chosen as the Blacken? Will I mean, you make the right choice or the sorry. dreadfully no, wrong one? I didn't have a follow-up. Just like, it feels like we've made that clear to you, Monokuma. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. Like, we, we yeah. told you. We're like, Sakura did it. it, it it's, it's, so it's Sakura. Sakura. It's Sakura. What's it gonna be? What's it's it his usual line. Be? Yeah, I know. I know. It doesn't feel like it has the heart in it this time, though. <laughs> Now it'd be really weird if not everybody voted. And okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean we discovered last time that it didn't have to be completely unanimous. That's true. Um Yeah, but, but it looks like she was just yeah. declared guilty, so. Okay. Yeah, that's right. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. My entire Okay, we're done here. Existence. Oh, yeah. What what did you so, say? So that that's the whole truth. Huh. I see. But there's still one thing I don't understand. Come on. Hina, why did you try to cover up what happened? If the truth hadn't come to light, we would have died- you would have died along with the rest of us. Yep. What are you thinking? And yet you- Why did you do that? Don't be mean! Yeah! We almost died there! What is this? Because... That's exactly what I wanted! I knew it. Yep. What? I mean, the reason Sakura died <laughs> is because all of you pushed her into a corner. You, you all killed her. Hmm. So that's why. You should have been the one to die. I <laughs> couldn't let her be the only one that died. Yeah, from. From Hina's point of view, everyone was the one that made her feel like there was no way out, so she had to kill herself. Mm -hmm. So in Hina's eyes, that means the whole group killed her. Exactly. So, and since she didn't think they were officially going to be blackened, she decided to make that happen To try herself. and sabotage exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, to bring everybody down, because in her mind, that's bringing justice to everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? 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 You don't mean... You were going to take us all with you? We have to atone for our sins. Because everyone, even me, we all killed her. We have to pay for our crimes. What? Are you serious? That's... What is this? You still don't understand? Let me explain. Do you realize just how much despair Sakura was carrying when, with her when she died? Look at this. Oh, uh, such brutality has made me desperate. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. That's... I found it on the ground, in front of the rec room. It's... It's Sakura's suicide note. Suicide note? Thinking back, I should have seen it coming. <laughs> It was right after Genocide Jack had attacked me. Sakura got mad, and she stormed out of the nurse's office. And I ran after her. And... Um... Sakura, calm down! You don't have to worry about me, I'm fine! I can't calm down. 
I don't care if I suffer for this. It's my fault, after all. But now you're suffering because of me. No forgiveness! You tried to protect me, but because of me... I can't forgive this! My closest friend got hurt! Sakura? I... Because of me, my friends are all going to kill each other. This is all my responsibility. Sakura thought she was responsible. She thought everything was her fault. Which is why she wanted to find some way to get everyone to forgive her. So she asked to meet up with them. You asked to meet up with those three? Yeah, she told you. So she did tell her everything. So I, so Hina knew the whole thing, the whole plan. It sounds like kind of. I don't think she knew that she didn't Sakura know was going to kill herself. I guess that's fair. Yeah. She knew that she was going to meet up with them, yeah. but that she didn't know that she was going to kill herself until she saw her, she found her note later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't. Don't you see how dangerous that is? Mm. Don't worry. I just want to talk with them. But talk about what? Um... Listen, don't do it. If they all gang up on you at once, even you... Hina. Hina. Please, don't think of things like that. They're not my enemy. They're friends. <laughs> oh, Sakura. Ugh. Sakura. <laughs> she clearly believed... She completely believed in all of us. And then two of them showed up and smacked her with bottles, and then one didn't show up. And fuck. So if you just talked to her, you would have understood. She was a friend to all of us. And yet... Why? And yet... Trampled all over her feelings, and then you did the unthinkable. Uh, um. No, that was just a, a misunderstanding. What are you saying? Don't stand there and call it a misunderstanding. She believed in you, and you wouldn't even listen to what she had to say. Without asking a single question, you tried to kill her. Do you have any idea how desperate she was seeing you act like that? That's what her suicide note means. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hands. Why? That's how far you pushed her. Uh huh? Sakura, what happened to you? Hina. Uh, Hina, you came. Wait, wait right here. I'll help you out. Hina. Hina. Huh? Huh? I... I... I'm so glad I got to meet you. What's wrong, Sakura? Why are you talking like that? I have a favor to ask. Hmm. Huh? A favor? Some protein. I'd like some protein. Could I ask you to... Yeah, yeah, you got it. Just hang on. I'll be right back. That was the last conversation I had with her. And then she locks the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She probably already, like already drank the poison by that point too. Yeah, Hina I'm nodding. Yeah. yeah. Then Hina shows up and she needs a way to get her out. Yeah. I went to the chem lab to get the protein she'd asked for. When I got there, I saw the powder. And that's when I realized I saw that someone had taken something from the poison shelf. That Sakura. So I ran back to the rec room as fast as I could. But by the time I got there, it was already too late. Sakura! Please! Let me in! Please open the door! Why? 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 Why did she have to die? She had weaknesses, just like any other person. If she got cut, she bled. If someone hurt her, she felt it. 
That's weakness. That's normal. And yet... Why? You all blamed her. I tried to protect her and I suffered for it. And that's just added weight to, the, to what she had to carry. And I didn't even realize it. Hina. We killed her. All of us. We pushed her into a corner and we murdered her. Why? People like us shouldn't be allowed to live. <laughs> and that's why you tried to lead us astray? You did your best to make us arrive at the wrong conclusion during the class trial. Sakura died hating all of us. I wanted to free her of her regrets. But even that got found out. In the end, I wasn't able to do anything for her. I could never face her after this. Hey, hey! Sorry for the whiplash. <laughs> the hardest part is that it was three different states of Aoi. Yeah. So it was sad Aoi, angry, angry Aoi, normal Aoi. It was very, very good. Thank you. I had yeah. fun, by which I mean it was awful. It was terrible, but it was, it was very, really bad. Really good. Thank you. <sighs> Uh, sorry to interrupt right when you're about to deliver the final tearjerker, but hey. it's just taking too long. Long, 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 long. I'm about to fall asleep over here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, do you really think you have any idea what Sakura was actually thinking when she died? What is this? What do you say? Hmm. Everything you just said is nothing but your interpretation, right? Your own opinion on what her suicide note meant. What are you saying? Uh, of course I know what she was thinking. Because her and me... In other words... Well, what I'm really trying to say is... Yes, indeed. Don't you think the entire foundation is shaky? What, uh, what, what, what? What if it was really like this? Hmm? What the heck? How did he take half of it? Oh, he tore like half of it and left the other to make half it look there. Bad. <sighs> what is that? Of course. Isn't it obvious? Yep. It's a suicide note. Sakura's suicide note. W what? But Hina already. Too bad. Oh, I wrote that one. It was all me, baby. Woo! What? I think that's called tampering with the case, but honestly, I just wanted to see what would Fuck happen. Fuck you, Monokuma. Fuck you. And I make the rules, baby. That's true. This is the one Sakura addressed to Hina and put in her room. But now he's like decided to reveal it because it makes it sadder that she just tried to kill all. I guess that's his it, whole it basically thing is reveals, despair. It, it, yeah, it reveals to Aoi that she's capable of murder because <sighs> she just tried to murder all of us. It, it, it's yeah, it's it's real rude. <laughs> it's so rude. Huh? What? Then you lied to me. Unbelievable. Oh, don't say lie. It makes it sound so dirty. I just thought I'd liven things up a bit. Well now, well now. You can't well help now, it if well you now. totally took my little scribbles at face value. <laughs> it didn't even have Sakura's signature on it. <laughs> you filthy little. I'm not filthy. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Get out of here. Did I falsify evidence? Did I affect the outcome of the class trial? I mean, kind of, but like yeah, you can't but... prove it. The case played out between you and you alone. You were the ones jerking each other around. Phew. Look, even if the will had factored in, it still would have been between you guys. Ching. So what's the problem? This is all part of the production process, okay? And scene, cut. And? So then, what did she write in her real suicide note? What are you gonna do? I'm glad you asked. For your benefit, I shall read it using my melodic, angelic, harmonic narrator voice. <laughs> hey, hey. But you know, haven't you ever been curious about the whole suicide note thing? came up with the idea of leaving a note when you kill yourself in the first place. But hold on. And isn't it just so unfortunate killing yourself is so final, you know? You never, uh, you can never hear the rest of their story. The truth is lost in darkness. Gives me the willies. 
<sighs> Could you get on with it, please? Yes, indeed. Okay, okay, okay. Jeez, talk about a buzzkill. All right, here we go. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Do I know this bear or not? <laughs> you know this fucking God. bear. You know this nasty bear. I could write for this bear. <laughs> <laughs> now do you read I think you, you I should think yeah. I should read this. Yeah. yeah. My good friend Hina, there's something I have to tell you. I hate to do it like this, but you need to know. This is my final wish. As you know, oh. I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. I'm just gonna actually read it. Oh, I guess not. It was our first night in this strange school that the Mastermind came to see me. You see, the Mastermind took control of my family's dojo and demanded I become their tool. Okay, that's what I, we had, su like, suspected. Mm -hmm. That the hostage was... At least I had suspected that the hostage was family-related. I was thinking that it was her father. Um, but I guess if it's her family's dojo, that would be included. Well, we got far enough in her social link to know that there's someone else. Because That's she was true. talking about the person that she needed to meet. And then... And she already defeated her father. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's but, somebody else. But in this case, it seems like it's her dojo. Yeah. yeah. You might not see the impro importance of a dojo, but my family has watched over it for over 300 years. I couldn't let it be destroyed under my watch. So even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. Hmm. That's how I saw things. However, that was my greatest weakness. And because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the Mastermind. And what the Mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. I kind of like that I'm reading it back and forth with Sakura. Yeah, I yeah. do too. They were probably worried that until the first murder had happened, nothing would move forward. But what neither the Mastermind nor I expected was the incident involving Sayaka. At that point, the plan changed. The Mastermind told me to hold off, to wait until we reached another stalemate. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, my resolve began to weaken. Watching everyone fight with such despair, trying so desperately to stay alive. I saw the weakness in my own heart, the mistake of succumbing to the mastermind. And more than anything... I cannot betray those who would call me their friend. That's how I came to feel. So that's why Sakura... I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat, no longer compromise, no longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. <laughs> of course. Because of that, I decided to reveal her secret, which w uh, made everyone else hate her. Which meant that he was just getting her out of the way because he knew that she wouldn't be of use to him anymore. Yeah, Monica so. said something interesting earlier, which is that um, even after Sakura broke the rules, he couldn't kill her. Mm -hmm. um, so he had to come up with something else. Yeah. Which was... And it was this. Yeah. Turn everyone against her. Her decision to stay true to all of you led directly to all of you hating her for it. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Or maybe oxymoronic or just moronic. <sighs> of course... I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. I am perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to make on me. So this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. Hmm. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with just me accepting your hatred. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me. Which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion, disharmony. The Mastermind knew that eventually it would escalate into someone murdering someone else. 
Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. I have an obligation to get this situation under control. And to fulfill that obligation, I've decided to do as the Mastermind has commanded. I will do as I was told and commit murder. But I've decided the one I'm going to kill is myself. If the Mastermind demands that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Then my dojo will be safe, and above all else, none of you will have to kill anyone. When I die, the source of conflict among you all dies with me. For that, I'm willing to give up my life. If it can save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my most treasured friends. Oh. I've never had people like you in my life. Huh? It's even worse than what, like, Hina had assumed. It's even worse. I mean, it's even more. I mean, I guess Hina had assumed that... Uh, uh, Hina assumed a little differently. And... Yeah, I don't think it's worse. Not worse, but like... Because Hina assumed she died full of hate and malice oh, and resentment. True. And no, true. she died full of friendship and love. And doing this out of the... Out of the... You know... The care she feels in her heart for all of her friends. Yeah. yeah. She did it out of regret, yes, because mm -hmm. of her past choices, but also in order to to keep her family safe. Like, <sighs> it's, it's a, like, ultimately, the thing that's horrible is that it didn't need to happen. Mm -hmm. When it comes right down to it, it didn't need to happen if everyone had just communicated and talked yeah. and all of that. Like, yeah. that, that, the thing, that's where, where it's, it's truly tragic. But at least, at least she didn't, die like with hate in her heart yeah yeah i mean we see her with a smile on her face yeah we we see that scene exactly you know, that, ma that makes sense but yeah. from a despair's perspective now aoi not only almost killed everyone but also demonstrated that she fundamentally did not understand her friend and assumed yeah that's yeah true. so it's just it's it's real rough that's really shitty yeah that's, that's real rough. super shitty yeah. Now I'm wondering if Sakura killing herself fulfills the agreement for Monokuma that she killed somebody within the game and therefore it will save her dojo. We'll see. That's because that feels so clever to the point where Monokuma will be like, no, like, but I will say, I don't know. Monokuma usually does shitty things with a target and the target of yeah. destroying the dojo is gone. Like, don't get me wrong, yeah. it would probably make Aoi upset and Makoto be like, damn it. But, like, yeah. it's, it's not... The, but the purpose of holding the dojo hostage... Is, is to inflict harm upon Sakura. Yeah. And I, I can't do that I anymore. Mean, and I, I genuinely don't remember if this is the case. But I think the darker re reveal would be to reveal that the dojo had already been destroyed before all this happened. Yeah. Um, And to, to say, like, Sakura, you did this for nothing because it didn't. But yeah. I, I don't remember if that's the case, to be okay. honest. Yeah. Um, then Sakura didn't feel cornered. She didn't die hating us. No way! She wanted to... She wanted to stop us from fighting, to protect us. Correct. She didn't end her own life because she was weak. Quite the opposite, in fact. She was strong. Too strong. That's why she killed herself. Because nobody else could take her down. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, I, that's actually too. literally... I think yeah. that's literally the case... Because yeah. she was like, yeah, if somebody else wanted to, to take out their vengeance on me, that'd be fine. But it's like, it's not... No one's gonna be able to do it. You can't actually do that, yeah. yeah. That, that's so true. Even Monokuma couldn't do it. Like, yeah. that... Which, yeah. is why, which is why this sucks, it didn't this need to happen. so sad. Yeah. Oh. She chose death for herself in order to protect the rest of us. To sacrifice so much. No normal person could do that. However... It was only her limitless strength that made it possible. Finally, Hina, I want to apologize to you especially. The reason I didn't tell you to, oh, the reason I didn't tell you any of this is because I knew you would try to stop me. I'm really truly sorry, but please don't be sad. If I can thwart the mastermind's plans, 
If I can keep you from killing each other, that's enough for me. This is the path that I have chosen. This is the only way I have left to distinguish myself. And you can use this note to bring the class trial to a quick end. Oh, God. Uh... I am so sorry to ask you to do something so unpleasant, but I have to leave the rest to you. Please talk to Byakuya, Toko, and Hiro on my behalf. I can't tell anyone about my plan while I'm alive, but I wanted you to understand why I'm doing this. In the end, though, I hope to show myself through actions and not words. Hopefully, then they'll see. I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I wanted to help as much as possible. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else. No matter what, just survive. But... This is... I don't under... I didn't understand how she felt. Not at all. I thought we were close and still... What are you gonna do? But in the end, all her meddling was like totally pointless. Uh -oh. She died so you guys wouldn't try to kill each other. But she almost ended up doing it anyway. Yeah, that's so shitty that like Sakura's best friend was the one that tried to kill everybody mm -hmm. when she was trying so hard to make it so not everybody would kill each other. But also, Monokuma is definitely a fault here because he removed the note. Yeah, no, no, Monokuma's like, like, I didn't do anything. Yeah. I just fundamentally changed the entire conversation like, around the trial. Monokuma's super at fault here. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Also, it wouldn't have been fun if ugh. you all knew. Come on. So That's shitty. Entertaining. <laughs> Thanks to you for death of no purpose at all. <laughs> In fact, it was because of her stupid meddling that the rest of you nearly got bit by the big one. Too bad. <laughs> she deserves all the blame. Everyone blame her. Go ahead. She deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now then, the next victim has been decided. So shitty. What do you mean, next victim? No one here blames anyone. Huh? Uh? First of all, you're in the wrong for tricking Hina with the fault with the fake suicide note. And plus, Sakura's death wasn't a waste. Say what? Uh? Because she made us remember. We're not enemies that hate each other. We're friends who need to work together. And if anything, she might have actually gotten through to Byakuya in this. In a funny way. She got the she like, may have gotten the rogue element. I think element. she got the the like because going into this, everyone was generally kind of like, oh, yeah, we'll all work together. Like, we'll get through and he's this. he's like, no, you guys are liars and you're fooling yourselves and it's never going to happen. Yeah, and now I, maybe, maybe we got the one that we needed to, to get. I don't know. You know? Damn straight. This is all because of our misplaced hatred. Well... I don't blame her. I can't blame her. Nobody can blame, blame Hina either. <laughs> Whether or not there was a spy never really mattered. Because the one we need to destroy is you, nobody else. What? What, what the heck? That? That's not where you're supposed to go. That's not how this was supposed to go. <laughs> but anyway, are you sure about that? This killing game is a competition between all of you, remember? Hey! Your enemy is each other. <laughs> He's absolutely right about that. Fuck! Phew! Oh, lovely Biakia, you understand, don't you? <laughs> this is a life or death elimination match. The only way to survive is to win. There can be no doubt that those are the rules of the game. You better say, but the rules are, don't mean anything anymore. I hope this shows that. <laughs> Which is why? I'm bowing out yeah! of the game. Hell yeah! It occurred to me that people are like people, I guess. They have like thoughts. People are people have and thoughts. And emotions. And also the shit's rigged. Do you think the same way I do? Holy shit, does everybody- Are, <laughs> are you not just automaton? Yes! I'm having a moment here. Yes! So I'm bowing out of the game. Naturally. Sakura and Hina were both willing to sacrifice their lives to deny the reality of this game. Thanks to them, it would appear the others have cast aside their fear of this game. 
<laughs> There's no point in participating in a game which has lost that sense of excitement. Okay, I guess you could put it that way. Fine, Byakya, in your weird, twisted way. But to his point, if nobody plays the game, there's no game to play. So if everybody get, says, nah, we're done, yep. then that's it. Then the game's over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is why I will no longer be participating in it. And like, I know that, I know that it's kind of what they, I don't know, maybe that's still a naive thing to say because like, we did set out at the start of the game where everyone was just kind of like, well, we just live here now, right? Like, we just live here. Yeah, but we already, we had Celeste and we had Byakuya being like, <laughs> you guys are idiots. That's true, yeah. that's true, that's true. And then, but again, all along the way, Monokuma is the one that is seeding the, the motive. situation. Yeah, the motive. It, basically the question is, if everyone's on the same page right now, what motive could be big enough to throw that off again? Right, yeah, yeah exactly. That's, that's where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. But this is good. This is this is major character development that's this happening right really now. This is really big for him, yeah. yeah. What? And I mean, for everyone, even Yasuhiro too, is like, oh my god, we were wrong. It occurs to me that we were wrong. We almost died. My bad. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. What's going on here? Hmm. Now I have one, only one thing to look. Now I have only one thing to look forward to. It's all clear now. And that is to heap the harshest possible punishment onto the one who thinks they can control me. Damn. There you go. Th take that energy and, and direct it towards the yes. actual enemy. Come yeah. on, man. Byakuya, does this mean? <laughs> Don't misunderstand. I haven't been moved by some thoughtless sentimentalism, if that's what you're thinking. Wherever master goes, I go. And if the mastermind turns out to be a guy, maybe I can catch. Maybe I can catch on fire. Uh, everyone. Hey. Well, now can you say that Sakura's death has no meaning? Hmm. Ugh. Ugh. How boring. But nothing good can come. But. Uh, but nothing good can come of this. <laughs> I'm still going to be the one having a- I'm still- uh, Sorry. Okay. He's, he's annoyed, but I'm, try I'm trying to figure out where he's landing. I'm still going to be the one who's having a fun time. What the heck? The, the fun time? Hmm. Anyway, let's forget about that good for nothing backstabber and get back on track. You want me to punish you It's guys? the moment you've all been waiting for! Punishment time! What? What are you gonna do? What? Oh, wait, but Sakura was technically the killer, right? And she's dead! Y you're not gonna... But... Is it me? Wrong. Oh, heavens no. Just because the blackened is dead doesn't mean I can't... Uh, I can just sub in whoever, whichever old student I want. Good. That's good to know. <laughs> that is it's good. It's good to know. That's good. At he does at least follow that. the rules. Oh. Didn't I tell you? I'm very particular about the bear times one rule. Okay. Listen up. But I spent so much time prepping my special punishment, it'd be a shame for to let it go for it to waste. You already wait. What? So for my special punishment, I have prepared a special guest. Wait, what the fuck? Hello? What the fuck? A special guest? Let's give it everything we've got! What it's does this mean? Punishment time! Wait! Wait! What does that mean? Oh wait, that's the other is it the other student? Because there's another student here! Supposedly! What does this mean? Who's dying? Oh no, it's Alter Ego. Fuck me! Fuck! <sighs> Fuck! Well, we knew this was gonna happen, I guess. I mean, they did talk aloud in front of cameras multiple mm -hmm. times about and, Alter Ego's existence. And we knew that as soon as Alter Ego, Alter Ego jacked into the network, that the mastermind would know. Yeah. Fuck. Now my big question is who is this meant for? Right? Monica yeah. was like, I prepared this great execution. I mean, this was clearly for... Wait. Yeah, it's a good point. I guess point. it was just for... I guess it's just for Alter Honestly, Ego. They, Monica was probably like, I'm gonna have to destroy that computer eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, we'll do it at a, a moment, but like... 
It's gotta go. And there we go. Y you. Oh, you suck, no. man. You turned him into a mangled hunk of junk. Phew. Oh, that nearly took it out of me. Maybe I'll go grill up a plate of chicken. What? After all, they say a post-workout grub, chicken's where it's at. And I'm all about the grilled goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Fried, boiled, give me a break. The color, the smell, the succulents. Grilled is where it's at. <laughs> you take oh that one, Monica. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I realize how dangerous it could be. But still, I have to do this. But... I'm scared, but... I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... But still... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think of me of just as just some human... Ugh. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. I'm gonna do my best. If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. Alter Ego's words raced through my heart and soul, and my disbelief gave way to raw anger. The anger turned to fury, black and muddy and boiling over. It bubbled through my body, quickly overflowing and shooting out of my mouth. How dare you! That was my friend! How dare you kill him! What's the matter? Huh? You were friends with a laptop? That's... Pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with a basketball? You should have said volleyball. You and then it would have been, that would have been, been better. Look, look, it's a protected IP. I've I tried. Guess. <laughs> I can make fun of Zero Escape because that's like my <laughs> friend, right? But I can't. What? I feel like Castaway's been in, in. It's been out for over 25 years. That's in Creative Commons now. I was about right? to say, do we think it's in the public domain? I think it's in the public domain. Not Creative no, Commons, public domain. But, yeah. No, because like Great Gatsby only just became in the public. To I'm sorry, oh, I really like yeah. doing the Monokuma voice. <laughs> it was unclear. I really like it. No, because no. Like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it takes yeah. like because of Disney, it takes like a hundred years. I thought that was just for Disney's IPs specifically. No. Like you don't have to do that, or no, did they just Disney doesn't own Great did they Gatsby? Just actually, fully change the public yeah. domain. Okay. Mm. What, what, what? Okay. okay. <laughs> Shut the hell up. He wasn't just a laptop, he was my friend! And you killed him! Hmm. Is this what you call animism? Where a soul dwells within all things, like even laptops? Hmm. You're so shitty! Well, you can call it whatever you want. Hmm. Bottom line is, it got on my it got in my way. It was trying to find things and out in all sneaky, sneaky way. <laughs> just as I thought. So you finally noticed him. Now, I I figured that we weren't going to be getting information back from Alter Ego, but whatever Alter Ego was doing is hopefully sabotaging the situation. Um, Actually, yeah. finally? No, 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 no. I knew from the very beginning. I figured that you as well. You guys were freaking obvious. You kept talking in front of cameras. You know yeah. that's me, right? Also, it looks like a camera, but it is my bare eye. If Chihiro brought Alter Ego in or created it, slash brought it into the game. Yeah, Chihiro brought it, sat on their bed and made it. Monica saw it. all that. It was five days of programming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're children. We have to remember they're children. I knew Chihiro was doing something with the laptop. And I knew you were using it to analyze data. Yeah! I knew exactly right. how it was going to play out from the start. So wait, okay, question. Mm -hmm. So Chihiro installed Ultra Ego onto the laptop that was in the school. Yeah. Does that mean Ultra Ego needed to be did Chihiro just program Alter Ego from scratch? In yeah, the laptop? well, or, but, but the or program that so basically what this is suggesting is that Chihiro has a, a like a perfect memory because I think what, what happened is we knew from Chihiro's social link that they were programming all, like an Alter Ego outside that mm. they had been commissioned to okay. program to make this the sentient AI and then and then and basically it just recreated Chihiro it recreated exactly what they'd already got made it got it got it because I was thinking that maybe Chihiro would had to have brought Alter Ego into no, the game, but I, it sounds like that's not the case that... I, th is. I think from, from the information we have, mm -hmm. it looks like Chihiro just programmed a, co a perfect copy of a pre-existing program got it, on got it, the got computer it. that they found in the library from scratch. Makes sense. Um, okay. But this also that's... aligns with what we knew of Monokuma, which is that Monokuma's like, yeah, I gave you these five... Like, 
yeah. work it out. I gave you this computer. Yeah. 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 I knew that I brought in the ultimate computer programmer into this yeah, game. Yeah, and also so. gave them a working laptop? Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah no, exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. What? What are you thinking? You knew. And you were still cocky enough to let us take the plunge? Yep. Well, I mean, the data in that laptop? It was... I guess you could call it a gift from me to you. Phew. Or maybe more like a reward? In honor of you being able to unlock something so difficult. Hey, um... So, of course, I didn't care if you got access to that. <laughs> but sneaking into the network was just too personal. So I had to do a little, you know, reformatting. I want to be able to help. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can all get out of here. Ultra Ego wanted to fight for us. He wanted to help at the risk of his own life. And for that, he was killed. <laughs> uh, yeah, the punishment time has made me feel a billion times better. Very nice. Experiencing a meaningless death is so soothing. It almost makes me remember how, that every low can get even lower. No. His death wasn't meaningless either. Everybody who's died so far, the deaths of each and every one of our friends, they all make us stronger. I swear to God, someday you will pay for this. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Holy moly, you're super mad. Like, just unreasonably upset. Well? Okay, time to bring things to a close. Uh oh, oh, but before that. Uh huh. Need to read the postscript. Oh, what? What? Postscript? Yep. Yeah. There's still a bit more left in Sakura's note. Oh boy. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have your attention? Okay then. Here we go. Hello. Prepare your ears for the dulcet tones of yours truly. <clears throat> it's probably gonna be me. One other thing, Hina. There's something I'd like to tell I'd like you to tell the others. Hopefully, it will act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of this school. What? A clue? Hina. I've spoken with the mastermind off and on the whole time I've been here, so I've learned one and so I've learned one thing. Which is the mastermind has done something to us. I think what they've done is. Yeah! Oopsie Daisy, that was a close one. Another word, and we would have had been hip deep in spoiler territory. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so book club is dismissed for today. What? what? You can't just stop at the most important bit. <laughs> it makes your brain rumble and tumble, huh? It makes you so mad you don't even freaking know, huh? You got that's the whole point, stupid. It's to get you back for what your for your hardening resolve. Fine, but at least Sakura's note. Hmm. Like I said, uh, like I'd ever let any of you grease balls have it. <sighs> but too bad. <laughs> ah, sucks to be you, loser. Hmm? Wait, what's this? What? What is it now? Wah -wah. There's one last line on the note. Oh. And let me just say this to the mastermind. I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you, you bastard, no matter what. And that's seriously it. And that's seriously it. Oh, I think. Is that what, oh, that's what he said. Oh, okay. I, I, I and think, that's seriously yeah, it. It's Sakura's I, it's, voice. It's, 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 I mean, it like, definitely was framed that way, but I, I do think yeah. that was a... Uh, yeah, and that's actually the end. Okay. Wow, what a stubborn loser, huh? She won't lay down and die? She'll fight you? Hmm. Well, whatever. Who cares what some dead muscle head has to say? Well? Okay, I'm out of here. Hmm. You guys should try to get some rest, you know? maybe take some time to reconsider how you approach this school life of yours. Are you sure you don't want to graduate? Can you really cut free from the regrets of the outside world? <laughs> oh, think about it. 
Think long, think hard. Oh my God, Gina, you deserve a break. <laughs> Holy shit. Woo, <laughs> woo. <laughs> uh, those were his parting words to us before disappearing. But what was that all about? I see, I've suspected that some, I mean, obviously, because we keep dropping pictures of us clearly having a post, like a preschool life, preschool school life. <laughs> with yes. friends <laughs> like something has happened to us yeah well and also um kyoko said something early on yeah she's like what did you do to my body yeah and, yeah. and the bear's like what yeah. me no that's true never. yeah soccer's final message her last clue to help us solve the mystery of this school i feel like she could have mentioned the other, the, the, the 14th or 15th kid or whatever. Yeah, because yeah. there's like, another kid. Like, wait, also, also, there also, is. Also, also, there's one more person. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're in the fence. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, but she didn't, so that's yeah. fine. The mastermind did something to us? Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. Yeah. You. What's this? What did you do? What did you do to my body? Who? Huh? I just, hey, I just, we just did this, this line. We can skip through this. Yeah, we yeah, just yeah, read yeah. this out loud. Okay. The mastermind did something to our bodies. What are they saying the mastermind did? What did the mastermind do to us? I mean, did the mastermind plant a bomb in us or something? And if we try to leave the school, a sensor goes off? And the bomb explodes? Oh my god, thank you. I've seen stuff like that in movies and comics and stuff, so it's not totally unheard of. It also happens in this thing called the Zero Escape series. That is true! <laughs> no! I feel awful just thinking about it. I can't afford to acknowledge thoughts like that. Yo. Oh my god, they keep going. I know. I'm sorry. This episode has been going on for I'm a really sorry, long time. I'm sorry, it's really long. I just want to get Makoto to bed. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I want to see the end of Deadly Life yes. screen. So oh. we're going to get to the end of Deadly Life. I just want him to go to his room. Yep. Yeah. So the class trial, it's all been good stuff, though. So yeah. the class trial is over and Monokuma's gone. But. So now what do we do? Yes. What else is there other than to head back up? Um, oh, yeah, uh, uh, okay, uh, let's get out of here. I... I... Um... Hina must still feel responsible. <laughs> Dial it back with the ego a bit, girl. The kind of mystery someone like you could pose is absolutely no threat. Not possible. I would never have lost to that kind of challenge. <sighs> What are you talking about? Kyogo and Makoto are the ones that figured everything out. Stop talking. Shut up. Hmm. Is it? <laughs> was he trying to make her feel better? I. What? <laughs> that was <laughs> weird. What is? What was that? That was really weird. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Seriously, I'm sorry. How many times do you plan to apologize? Is that, I think that's the first time like she's he's, apologized. That's the first time she's apologized. And now Bianca is saying, stop apologizing. Yeah. Which, How many times do you plan to apologize? How about you make that one the last one? I haven't reached a point where I need someone apologizing to me more than once. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay. I see what you mean. Then... I'll try... Huh? I don't know how she was supposed to read that. Idea. That totally wasn't normal, right? Did she just capture his flag? Oh, like a romance flag? That's oh, that's funny. That's actually that's actually no, a no, funny no, no, way no. to frame that. No, 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 no! <laughs> I cannot suffer the existence of someone who would disturb the romance between me and Master. Okay, I I hate where the scene is going, but I will say the idea of saying. Capture, using capture the flag in reference to a romance flag is, is incredibly really funny. funny. That is really funny. Oh okay, writers. That was very funny, though. Yeah. I found that amusing. Oh my okay. god. Huh? 
what are you talking about? That is absolutely not what's happening here. Also, I like that. <laughs> he also knew what she was talking yeah. about. Yeah. So he was. I guess he was trying to make her feel better. Maybe. Yeah, he was trying maybe to maybe unclear. But he was trying to make her feel better, yeah. I think. Yeah. Why would I ever go for a sleaze ball like him? What did you sleaze say? ball. Oh boy. Guys, heck? that's right. I called you a sleaze ball. Cause you are. Sleaze ball. Apparently you still have a death wish. Guys, stop. <sighs> oh, more biting sarcasm. No wonder you don't have any friends. No, 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 no. Hey, stop fighting with Master. You're making me jealous. I want the abuse I want the abuse give and take. Me. <laughs> oh my god. I guess it's not so easy for everyone to act like friends. <laughs> well, that's just how it is for now. See ya. I mean, for what it's worth, that did snap Aoi out of out of a real deep low. Yeah. So I guess that was Thank for the best. God. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess. I'm not gonna give this one to Biaki. I don't think he earned it. No, but... he absolutely did not. <laughs> no. But yeah. And so Sakura's class trial came to an end, and we returned to the world of Hope Speak Academy. But the story wasn't even close to over. Time kept marching on. We all went back to our rooms, and before long, night snuck up on us. Ding dong, ding dong. In is it, is deadly a, light. Is it a regular ding dong, ding pong? Is it nighttime now? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Nighttime. Free us. Free us. Nighttime descended and pulled me down along with it, down into sleep. I couldn't remember the last time I'd fallen into such a deep sleep. But the night still wasn't over for me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, do you want to Do you wanna figure out what the night holds? I kind of want to do that next time. That feels like a good clip. That actually, that, that yeah. feels way better than, uh, than, than a, a, In Deadly Life. Yes. Dang and Rumpa. Yes. As it goes. I like this. Yeah, I like this a lot. Something's going, maybe he gets some memories back or something. Mm. That would be really interesting. Wow. Anyway, this thus was... ends the case of chapter four and the oh. death of Sakura. That was really fucking rough, and to the very end, she remains my favorite character. She's the best character. She's the best. Like, I... Uh, yeah, that was really rough. That was really fucking rough, and just really sad. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, I'm, I'm really sad that she's gone, but it seems like she may have some sort of lasting legacy in this. It sounds like implied. she had, like, a plan or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's really interesting to me. Um... So, yeah, uh, but we'll see what happens with Makoto next time and what the night has in store for him. <laughs> we shall see. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll see you all next time. Bye, folks. <laughs>